The formation of priests for our diocese must address priestly formation from the perspective of life in our modern world. To meet this need, the church has recently updated the program of priestly formation. Because I believe very deeply in this renewed vision of priestly formation in the modern world called for by the church, I'm very excited to inform you that there has been an effort on the part of many people throughout our diocese to provide a house specifically for young men who are discerning the priesthood and who will be formed in this new vision of preparing men for priesthood. Through generous gifts from people who believe in the formation of our future priest, our hope is that this house can be provided at no cost to the diocese. Several people have already been very generous, and I am grateful. I am personally committed to seeing that this formation house provides the best formation that we can offer for our young men, because priestly formation is very important to me. When Jesus began to form the church, he did it in a very unique way. He started with an invitation to come and follow me. He made this invitation to his 12 apostles, who eventually became the first priests and bishops of our Catholic Church. When they responded to the invitation from Jesus to follow me, that meant that they would spend the next few years of their life in very close contact with Jesus. They'd walk with him, sit by the fire, fish with him. They'd listen to him teach. They'd watch the miracles that he would perform. They would eat with him. They would laugh with him. They would sleep under the stars. They learned from him by what they saw him do and what they heard him say. In a nutshell, you could say that the way that Jesus decided to form men for the priesthood was to have them accompany him side by side and grow in authentic relationship with him. Jesus formed these men as he was formed. You see, Jesus was formed by St. Joseph in the workshop. He worked with him, laughed with him, talked with him, rested with him. And this is exactly the model that we're going to use in our new house of formation, of which we are calling St. Joseph's Workshop. The workshop is where so much of Jesus' human formation happened, and where he and St. Joseph grew an intimate relationship with one another. So at present, when a young man decides that he wants to enter into discernment for the priesthood, we go through the application process, and then he moves away from the diocese for the next six to eight years of his life, and he enters into the seminary. Now, while the seminary has many wonderful aspects about it, it teaches our men a lot about theology, about pastoral skills, and about how to celebrate the sacraments, the College of Bishops have noticed that there is a lack in a young man's human formation, his life skills, as well as a mature spiritual formation. The bishops have created this document regarding seminary formation and priestly formation. And in this document, they call for every diocese to have a house of formation, which will be the seminarian's first year of seminary. So now when a young man is coming out of high school and decides that he wants to go to the seminary, he will come first to the house of formation for one year. Within the diocese, we have taken this request from the College of Bishops very, very seriously. And we began praying with Bishop Fobb about how we could make this vision happen. So several families from around the diocese have learned about this vision. They got excited about it, and they wanted to make a financial contribution in order to donate to this house for us to begin this most important and crucial and vital part of a young man's priestly formation. So we're grateful to them. Now, because of this gift, we're able to begin the process of putting together the details of what this house of formation will provide. In this document, the bishops want the year to focus on the following things. First, human formation, life skills. In this house of formation, they will learn how to cook, how to clean, how to landscape, how to grow their own vegetables, how to choose healthy lifestyles, how to communicate, um, how to detach from electronics, uh, learning about finances and conflict resolution skills and calendar skills and just various responsibilities that they're gonna have around the house. That's the first part is human formation. The second thing that the document calls for within this house of formation will be to grow in their relationship with Jesus by a committed prayer life in which is rooted the liturgy of the hours and the traditions of the church. 
They're going to have formation classes every single week. They will be involved in various groups within the diocese and learn about giving of our time and talent which is needed. They're going to grow in relationship with the laity, and we will visit and share meals with various families throughout the week. So you will get to know them in a very unique way. They will also be living with priests, and the young men will get to see firsthand what the life of a priest is like. This gives them excellent formation, as well as allowing the priest to get to know the young man, to challenge him, and to help him to discover God's will for his life. This is the model that Jesus used, and this will be the model that we use. We will accompany these men and help them to grow in their relationship with our Lord. Now, once this happens, the young men will be able to know with much more clarity and much more certainty as to whether or not they are called and desire to move into the next phase of formation, which would be to go to an institutional seminary to finish their academic and priestly formation. I ask that you continue to pray for our priests, for our seminarians, and for our young men who are discerning the call to become seminarians. If you would like to learn more about the House of Formation, or if you would like to help with the financial gift of any sort, I encourage you to contact our Vocations Office at 985-850-3129 or visit their webpage at htdiocese.org slash formation house. Again, I express my gratitude to the numerous families who have already donated. Be assured of my prayers for you, even as I ask your prayers for me.